If you want a nice, sweet Scotch whiskey cocktail, you need to try out a Highlander. Let me show you how to make it. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt, I'm the Whiskey Nerd, and like I said, this week I'm making a Highlander cocktail, which is kind of like a riff on a Rob Roy. It's very similar looking to a Rob Roy, but it's a different kind of cocktail. It was featured in 1948 by David Embry in his kind of famous book, The Fine Art of Mix Mixing Drinks, and it was called there the Highland Cocktail, the Highland Express, the Highland Fling, or this version, the Highlander, but it's all the same kind of cocktail. It is a Scotch whiskey cocktail using blended Scotch, not single malt, as well as some red vermouth and orange bitters to kind of make the cocktail a little bit sweeter, a little bit softer and different to those kind of classic Manhattan style, Rob Roy style cocktails. And that's it. It is a very simple, straightforward cocktail, but it does have a nice amount of flavor. So let's start making this cocktail. It is a stirred drink. So we're going to get our mixing glass I'm gonna pop a nice rock of ice into there before we measure the rest of our ingredients. It does kind of follow that classic Manhattan Rob Roy formula, so it's gonna go in with two ounces of our Scotch whiskey. This is Ballantine's. It's just a simple blended Scotch whiskey. The recipe doesn't call for anything super fancy, anything over like top shelf, just simple Scotch whiskey because we're gonna be adding in those bitters and their vermouth. Ballantine's, nothing wrong with Ballantine's, just a classic kind of simple enough blended Scotch whiskey. Next up, it's our vermouth. Again, not going super fancy. This is Martini's Rosso, kind of sweet red vermouth. Gonna go in with one ounce or 30 ml of this red vermouth. This is kind of my classic go-to vermouth. It's nice, it's sweet, it's got a nice balance, kind of spices and flavor. And it does come in just a very simple, classic kind of flavor profile that you're not gonna not enjoy. Some vermouths I've tried, very herbal, very strong. Martini's Rosso vermouth, straight down the middle always you know what you're going to expect. And then lastly it is the orange bitters. I'm going to go in with two dashes of orange bitters. I've seen some recipes call for one or three but I'm just going to split the difference. One, two, two dashes of orange bitters. Then that's all it is. So we're just going to stir it down for about 30-35 seconds until it's nice and chilled. Okay I can feel from the outside of the glass that this is nicely chilled so we're going to be ready to strain it out. We're going to strain it up nice and simple into a clean Nick and Nora glass. We're just going to get our glass there, our strainer up top, and just pour it away. Very nice, simple presentation on the whiskey, just in like that, but it's not fully finished yet because we are gonna garnish it. Some people use lemon peels, some people use kind of anything they want. I'm just pop a nice little twist of orange peel over the edge, and that right there is how I make a Highlander. Now real quick, before I taste this cocktail, if you're new here, scroll down, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. I put out whiskey reviews on Wednesdays and I put out cocktail recipes featuring whiskey on Fridays. So if you want to see more, make sure you hit subscribe. Now cheers. Okay, that's very nice. It's simple. It is nothing, oh, it's, it's, that's actually really nice. That's really kind of, it's not like some of those kind of Rob Roy's and Manhattan's where they're quite kind of tart, kind of bitter. They lean into those bitter ingredients you get with the vermouth, with the bitters. Using orange bitters here just makes it a bit softer, sweeter, fruitier, mixing it with the blended scotch. It's not gonna be smoky, it's not gonna be heavily malted. It's just like a nice, simple scotch whiskey that I think pairs really well with the vermouth. Yeah, it's just a nice, it's a simple drink. Like it's very classic, that kind of form, formula of whiskey, vermouth, and a bit of bitters. It's been around for ages, and it's been around for ages for a reason, because it's a very nice cocktail. So. I'm gonna keep on enjoying this. If you have any ideas for different Scotch whiskey cocktails, because I know Scotch whiskey cocktails are often, they're often overlooked. They're not, you, you know, you don't use see a lot of Scotch whiskey cocktails. If you've got any more ideas for Scotch whiskey cocktails, let me know down below, but I'm gonna keep on enjoying this and I'll see you next time. Sláinte.